The Reverie sent over by Canon Keys might just be the most beautiful keyboard that I have personally used. Now while this keyboard does start at a hefty price point of $365, this keyboard in my opinion is more of a work of art. This is a 65% mechanical keyboard with a very nice cherry lip to the front of it and an 8 degree typing angle. It is also top mounted and comes with some force brake modifications already built into this keyboard. Now this video is sponsored by Canon Keys but that does not change my opinion in any way shape or form. When it comes to what you receive in the box you get the keyboard itself, the PCB of your choice whether you want soldered or hot swap, a polycarbonate plate, a hard carrying case, a custom daughter board. The cool thing about this keyboard is it does have a USB 2.0 hub as well so you can plug in two extra USBs directly into the keyboard itself a microfiber cloth, hardware for assembly, so that's like your screws, etc., the feet for the keyboard, and of course, those force brake gaskets, which are poron foam. As you can tell, this keyboard does not come with any sort of case foam, plate foam, or anything like that. Thankfully, they do offer a foam kit as well for $26 extra, but at this price point, I really think it should be included. While this keyboard might not be as beginner friendly as some of the other keyboards I've checked out, everything has a spot for it. So there are a bunch of screws but it is very obvious which screws go where and the disassembly and assembly process was actually a lot easier than it may look. This is a group by unit so the group by will close on 10.13 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time so if you were wanting to purchase this keyboard then definitely decide before the closing date. With that being said, the switches I'm using here are some switches from Canon Keys that I've never used before so I thought why not give them a shot and that is their Anubis Tactiles which I found to be quite pleasing to type on. Now these are stock but I would probably recommend lubing them as there is some small ticking to them. The keycaps I'm using are Canon Keys November Fog. As you guys see here I have the Aurora variant of this keyboard which looks absolutely stunning and I love the colorway and the finish on this keyboard is super premium and very elegant. And the star of the show is actually on the bottom. This design on the weight is honestly next level and why I consider this more of an art piece and why it might be more justifiable for that super high price point is you can tell a lot of time and effort went in to designing this backplate. This backplate is actually two parts. So the one I have here has the brass weight. But besides that, once I put it all together, and like I said, it was actually not as hard as it looks, I found that the typing feel, of course, is a top mount. So it did feel a bit stiffer than all the gasket keyboards I've used in the past, but it was a very nice top mount. And I really like the way that they went about it as the screws are actually on top. But that did make putting the screws in kind of hard because it would fall in between the plate and the PCB since there was no plate foam. So I would definitely recommend getting a magnetic screwdriver. But other than that, here's a quick sound test. You guys can hear how it sounds. So yeah, I think what really needs to change is kind of the sound signature or some of the sound issues I had with this keyboard. While it may look beautiful, I do think it sounds a bit on the flatter side and just sounds very hollow and there's still case being even though they give you those pour on foam. It is just too soft for it to actually prevent the metal from touching the metal. So a big thing to fix of course but thankfully it is an easy fix. Like I said before, this is one of the most beautiful keyboards I've ever used. It just falls flat when it comes to the sound department. 
I also think the field apartment is quite nice for a top mount. It just doesn't sound that good. We need to get the sound to be as good as it looks. If you are interested in the Reverie, I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below. But let me know what you guys thought about this keyboard in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.